Hello! So today we're going to be seeing how to make uh, some cool drawings. The drawing that we're going to be making is a spirograph. You're probably asking yourself, well, what is a spirograph? And uh, a spirograph is actually uh, somewhat like a spiral. Not really. I'll show you in a second. But the first thing we want to do is delete the print sprite that we have here and replace it with an arrow. So let's go ahead and do that. Why are you not selecting here? Delete. And we choose a new sprite. Let's go these two pages. Um, there'll be things. And double click. And following arrow and the arrow as you can see it points towards the mouse pointer right now we don't want that so let's delete it first thing we want to do is make this arrow smaller so we go click on resize this sprite and we'll make it smaller doesn't matter how much smaller just make it smaller um, as always we want to start of our when green flag click button now we want to start by setting where the arrow is pointing to we say point in direction 90 degrees well that is to the right so we click the green flag and it points to 90 degrees another thing that's also good practice to do is to set the initial position of the arrow we'll set it to zero zero now if we go to the pen menu here, that's actually where the drawing gets done. Uh, a good thing to do whenever it, you have a drawing is to clear the screen. So if you have a line, you know, or something that's drawn onto the screen, we clear it every time we start our script. We want to set the pen down to actually be able to write something or draw something in this case and we also want to always set the pen color to whatever we choose to this time we'll pick black and if we click and run that nothing happens so that's good that's our initial condition and if we run the script many times it'll always do the same thing it'll always return the, our arrow or our pen to the middle so that's good now I want to start with uh, a loop we'll just use a simple repeat loop actually before we do that uh, let's start by breaking down and really seeing what a spirograph actually is so go in a spirograph. and if we search for images of spirographs we can see that a spirograph is something like this this is actually what we're going to be drawing today something along these lines so if you look at this attentively you'll find out that it it's actually composed of geometrical shapes kind of I mean we can think of this vertice right here as somewhat like a triangle and this is just a bunch of triangles put together and offset it so for simplicity that's how we're gonna start it so let's go ahead and uh, create uh, a line with with our pen here so that will just be by moving it we'll call it a hundred steps a hundred steps and we click on the green flag and it doesn't draw anything because I said pen up we want to set pen down I'm sorry about that there you go now I want to change the directions of our pen here so we can go to motion and uh, we'll turn clockwise by um, in this case we'll say 120 degrees that's because that's the outside angle of an equilateral triangle so if we go in and turn 
120 degrees and now if we go and we move uh, 100 more steps in that direction you can see we made one of the two of the legs of the triangle and if we just repeat this process one more time we can we'll see that we'll have a triangle drawn out this will be 100 and this will be a turn again 120 and we go and yep we have a triangle drawn out for us just like so now we've seen loops already so we know that these three statements they're actually redundant we can substitute them for a loop let's go ahead and do that repeat we'll say three times and we'll test it again always remember to test your code often that's always a good practice so when you have an error you know when to go unless you uh, if you don't do that you'll have a bunch of code if you find an error you won't be able to find where that error is it'll just set you back a lot so it's always a good practice to do it so a spiral graph is created by getting a you know in essence by getting lots of shapes and offsetting them a bit and redrawing them over and over again so since uh, the angle of 120 here is a kind of a little too nice for us we can you know make this a little more ugly 115 and repeat this for let's say 90 times and that should create us a spire graph as you can see so that's how you create a simple spire graph we're going to be seeing some more complex methods that look a bit better later on but we'll leave that to the next video i'll see you then